G'day guys, M Tim Tam here. Today we're going to learn about HUIs and setting up your environment in Cycles, Blender Cycles. If you go to render, your standard will be a white RGB spectrum based uh, environment. To change this you go to your world settings and you can change what color you want, whether it be red, black, yellow, orange. You can also change the uh, power, so you can have nothing but black, and you can have full on white, and you can change the strength accordingly. Now you can also have a different variety of of world settings you can use. Apart from the RGB spectrum, the most common one is image based or HDRI, HDRI based. To set this up, it's very simple. Now, make sure you have a good scene here. Just uh, don't uh, just get your scene very big. Um, you change your material settings to something that will really refract off, such as glossy. Put the roughness all the way down. Choose white if you want, and put that to a white thing too. Okay, so the first one I'm going to go do here is in your node editor. Go to the world settings, delete your backgrounds. Oh, wait, keep your background. Sorry about that. Uh, go to Shift A, Texture, Image Texture, lean that up to the color, and then for your image texture, go to your world settings, press open, go to your image you want to go to. In this case, it's my HDRI choose your image and select open. Now as you can see um, it's very distorted and not very aligned so you're going to have to get a vector based um, to move the translation, the scale and the rotation. In order to do this um, it's very simple, it's extremely simple. Um, select your image Go to your vector, press generated. Uh, your node should pop up. Press shift A, vector, mapping, and put that in between there, and it should automatically connect. Now, here is the tricky bit. Let's just scale this back down. Now, to get it much more better accurate, um, I was experimenting with this. Put the scale to two-ish, fix the rotation up so it's going sideways, put the scale back to one for a sec, so it's nice and fat, so all of this is getting s sucked into there, I'll put this to 1.2, 1 1.5, 1 1.5, 1 1.5, that's good, getting some reflection there. And you can change the rotation and the translation. Only you should only mess around with the um, rotation scale. So if I were to go here, change the uh, go to the image textures, change the strength a bit more higher, and we have a full blown. Paste your eye for reflections and refractions. And yeah, you can also experiment with other vectors, um, whether it sees fit. Um, I saw this as, um, I personally saw this as best fit. So you can also just uh, mess around with the settings and you'll be pro it at no time. Alright, guys, uh, and uh, there's also, there is also another way to get a good realistic atmosphere effect. It's called uh, sky setting. It's not as efficient as let's say octanes or lux renders but it is pretty good for having a nice warm scene. 
right now I'm just creating a quick house okay so now just go to render as you can see it's pretty crappy at the moment but if we will, we will then do this so go to your world settings now shift A texture sky texture connect that to color and then put the vector to generated and then put the mapping go to shift A vector mapping and put that in between there save this Let's touch. now if we were to render this on the GPU as you can see it is a nice global illumination background uh, we could try to change the shadow try and change the shadow and the scaling to get what you want you can also change the turbulence something more sunny and we can also have a little preview render it out as you can see the uh, global nation and light full off is very uh, realistic and it's a very good atmosphere effect and that's for the sky texture so that's pretty much all you have to know about for the sky texture you can improvise with different techniques I'm pretty sure in the future the Sun Sky will be a lot more better. So thank you for watching.